So this is my AR-15 that I built from scratch. So it's a new Frontier lower, um, Rock River Arms upper. So what's pretty cool about this uh, Fab Defense is it has 10 round magazine. It will also hold a it will also hold a 30 rounder as well. And it's still adjustable. The UTG grip. This is just a cheap uh, cheap bipod. It's a, it's adjustable. It is adjustable. Pushing the button. There you want, or you can have it all the way down. Ultrafire flashlight with on off, and it has the different modes too. So. barrel brake and then this is so this is just a off-brand one it it does all right basically it's a copy uh, a copy of EOTech so I do have these flip up sights sorry battery died this is the Rock River arm uh, front sight foldable And then I have the Troy Industry rear sight and with the flip aperture. So, and with this, and with this you can use through the, the red dot. So what I have is a sling. Uh, it already has the the front sling point. And I don't remember what these. I, this was an off-brand one, but I liked it because it can either be a two a two-point sling, or you can have a one-point sling. I had this, uh, I got that zip tied up there so it's not clinging around and binging and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and take this apart. Okay, so push that. Okay, you can just pull this pin out that will come apart so what I did on the inside of this I don't know how well this camera will pick it up but it's been polished and down inside it had been polished too so it's a really light crisp trigger and it just works really good I, I, I'm glad that I did that so we need to take uh, the buffer tube out we're going to Take this back plate off. We'll be replacing it with the ambidextrous uh, with Pro Mag ambidextrous dual loop sling attachment plate. So here it is. As you see, there's the little groove on there, and it came with this little this little button. It's got a three on there. All right. So. Normally you will probably need a wrench to take this off, but I only hand tightened it for demonstration purposes. Now that's going to let 
this loose and it's going to come back and there's a little spring in there that has a detent that pushes on this back piece okay go ahead and take your spring out if you want detent should come out so there is a, a pin that's there and you can push on that and allow that to go past and then your whole buffer tube or your whole buffer and your spring should come out okay so once you pull the buffer out and the spring there's this little uh, this little pin here uh, hold it down or at least keep it from flying and you will loosen up your buffer tube and that should allow this to come loose now watch out that sucker will fly I'm going to take that detent out with the spring and then you can continue to take off the buffer tube here's the old piece See how that fits in there like that. Now me being OCD, I have to have this sick and straight up. So you have that like that. Okay. And you can put this on here. And that that little tab can only go in this little cross section right here. Slide on like that. Put this back on. Put our spring back in here. We'll fuzz with this. You'll push this down and tighten the buffer tube until it locks in so that doesn't come out. Okay. Now I'm going to try and tighten this as much as I can as long as this can move up and down freely. So pretty much like that. You put your detent already back in there and in your spring. Once you got that, push this forward and tighten this up. tightens up on there like that and you will want to use your your wrench to tighten this down um, I'm waiting on mine's in the mail right now I don't know what I do with my other one but anyways uh we'll tighten that down real tight some people use blue loctite some people use purple loctite uh, I personally don't use any loctite on it but uh, anyways, then we can put the buffer tube down in here. Right like that. Just 
reassemble everything back. Add this thing on. I want this strap up front. Guess it doesn't matter. I got this. So there you have it. Just as easy as that. Um, I still need to adjust this the way the way I like it on, on my body and the way it will work out best for me. Um, yeah, it's the ambidextrous one, so you can go from either side, right-handed, left-handed. Um, my wife, she shoots, she's right-handed, but she shoots left-handed. So, if need be, we can switch this over for her whenever she shoots it. Or better yet, maybe I should buy one for her. But, this was a fun build. Uh, I absolutely love building this. I got to do... I got to do everything I wanted instead of buying one that was already done. So all I did was I bought a strip lower. I put all the guts in it that I wanted to. Uh, the internals, um, I'm pretty sure I just went with just a factory um, trigger assembly and all that stuff. But I was able to go in and polish and, and match everything to where it, you get that real nice crisp uh, trigger. Um, I got the upper that I wanted, um, all the other stuff. I, I really like. I really like that. But that's the good thing about these AR-15 platforms is that you can make them the way you want it to work best for your needs. Whether it's home defense, mine's more for out on the range, playing around, uh, that kind of thing. I well, just thought I'd let y'all in and see my little pride and joy of my, uh, my gun collection. I appreciate y'all watching, y'all comment rate, and we'll catch you later. I'll right, come back, and uh, hopefully the next video I have will be for the, the new air rifle with the 25 cal. Um, the one I got, they sent me, it's the right brand, but it's the wrong model. Model type. I'll explain on the next one, but... Uh, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all comment, right? We'll catch you next time. See ya. Did that look scary? Did it look... Are you scared? Mm -hmm.